your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. The Grand Bahama Christian Council preparing for an island-wide outreach on Friday. Several churches will be coming together to spread the message of Christ throughout the various communities on Grand Bahama. It's how your hall has the story. Some 50 churches are expected to take part in the outreach initiative. President of the Grand Bahama Christian Council, Rev. Dr. Robert Lockhart says, the Lord laid it on his heart a year and a half ago for the Christian community to go into the community and spread the word of God. He says the street meetings will all be held at the same time. There still isn't any substitute for going to someone's house and praying with them. There still isn't any substitute for actually connecting with people physically and sharing with them the message of Jesus Christ. And so I said, you know what, if we can do this all together, there's enough churches on the island of Grand Bahama for us to reach this whole island. We cannot do it by ourselves, but together it can be accomplished. And, um, and I realized that all of us are preachers, all of us are teachers, all of us love sharing the gospel with the lost. And, um, and sometimes these walls are barriers to that gospel getting out there to those that don't know Jesus. Now the president of the Grand Bahama Christian Council says since the pandemic, some persons have gotten out of the habit of going to church due to the fact that churches were closed and the street meetings will bring the church to the community. Some people have gotten discouraged. Some people have gotten um, um, uh, depressed. Some persons are feel hopeless and helpless. And we want to let persons know that, hey, um, um, that even though you may not be able to move around as you wanted to, nothing has changed when it comes to the word of God. And if you do feel hopeless and helpless, God, amen, he's a God of hope and he's able to help us. And as for what the council expects to gain from the outreach initiative. I care about our people. I care about it as a Bohemian people. I care about our community. So do all of us as pastors. And, um, and I want the community to be aware of that, that God loves you and we love you. And, um, and the key is, is that we're commanded to go and, um, and we want to come out to our fellow Bohemians and let them know that, um, that God loves you and that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and forever. We want to pray for you. We want to share with you. We want to encourage you. We want to lift you up and we want to share the good news of the gospel with you. Pastor Adam Brister and Bishop Sobe Kempsey, they are looking forward to being a part of the street meetings. And we are going to carry the gospel message on the streets to let dying men know that Jesus, yes, he does save. He heals and delivers. And we are excited because we know that God is going to do something. Italia Hall, ZNS Network News. And now it is time for our Munchin' with Megan segment. Tonight, veteran chef Dwayne Clare is in the kitchen and he's spicing up what may be considered everyone's favorite fish. Hey guys, welcome to my segment. Today we're cooking with Chef Dwayne Clara. Chef, tell us what we're making. Oh wow, it's a perfect time of the year for nice prepared ginger, panko breaded, snapper filet with fresh mango salsa. Yum, what are we gonna need? We got okra here, whole fresh butter, ginger panko breadcrumbs, some microgreens, cherry tomatoes, fresh lemon, and here is the key of the component, a nice mango salsa components of cilantro, our bell peppers, sweet onions, and we're gonna to top it off with some house-grown plantain chips. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some oil to, the, to our saute pan. Would you like to assist me with that? Yes. Oh, that's perfect, great. Can you get me one of those snapper fillets right here? Okay, great. Freshly caught, freshly bought in, all the way from West End. We're gonna just crust the surface of this with okay. the pineco breadcrumbs. You wanna take a spoon? Okay, so you're just gonna crust the top of it, okay? Can I assist you a bit with this? Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna basically press the breadcrumbs on it. Okay, that's pressed on. And now we got our saute pan here. So if you will be so kind as just to take this snapper fillet out and you put it breadcrumb side down, lightly and gently. I'm okay. kind of afraid now. Okay, can, I can help you. Yes, yeah, you let can. Me, let, me, let, me, let me help you here. If you, if you would like some help, I can assist you. Okay, there we go. So nice. we, we have it in our saute pan. Okay, we're gonna Leave that there and let that start to simmer gently. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we have our nice okra. There's some, there should be some pesto oil there. You're gonna gently marinate the okra. Just put a little bit over the okra, slightly. That's great. Good. Now you wanna put a little salt on top of that? 
So is the pesto, you guys made it here? Oh, oh yeah, that's nice. uh, fresh, freshly, freshly made. And then in the meantime, we're gonna put some regular olive, olive oil, oil in our frying pan and we're gonna get our okra ready. Okay, that's good. We're gonna take our okra, okay? That's ready now to turn over on the, on the opposite side. Okay, so this okra here is almost ready to turn. Mm -hmm. We don't want it to overcook. We right. don't want it to burn. Mm -hmm. You, you want to turn a couple of those? Sure. Oh, that's beautiful. Look, look, at, look at that. It's not slimy. It's not soggy. Correct. It's nicely <laughs> roasted okra. We're going to just add a little knob of fresh old butter mm -hmm. to our pan. Okay? Nice. This basically just gives it a little extra flavor. Now, like we're going to plate up our snapper fillet. Okay, so just gonna do some fresh okra. Now we have our mi nice uh, mango salsa here. Freshly made too? Fresh, freshly made. Nice. Fresh mangoes. We need our fresh grilled uh, lemon. Always okay. good with seafood, Always right? Always good with seafood, a little lemon. Someone managed to bring some backyard uh, cherry tomatoes, which is, which is nicely grilled. So we're gonna just nice. place those here. Okay, a little plantain chip you know, on the top. Nice. Now we're gonna take just a little bit of this oil, okay? This is the pesto. A little bit of the pesto okay. oil, okay? All right. And there you have it, ginger panko crusted snapper filet. And now it's time to munch. And now it's time for your midweek check on sports with Jay Philippe. Good evening, I'm Jay Philippe and welcome to Sports. Female sprinter Brianne Bethel, who recently qualified for the Olympic Games, was selected as the winner of the conference most outstanding performance award. The award is presented to student athletes who recorded their highest ranking marks on the NCAA performance list during the American Outdoor Track and Field Championships this season. Brianne just about did it all for the Cougars in Tampa, competing in the 200 meters, 400 meters, 4x1 and the 4x4, winning two individual titles. Bethel blazed the track with a time of 22.54 seconds to win the 200 meters and shattered the meet record in the event. Switching gears now to baseball, scores from week 5 of the league baseball. The Buccaneers defeated the Predators 9-4 in coach pitch. In minor league play, the Lions took care of Team Grand Bahama with the final score 6-1. In major league play, it was the Predators that got the W against the Lions 7-2. In junior league action, the Bucks edged out the Hurricanes 8-5. Over in senior league play, Fortune 360 Eagles winning against Chrissy Joe's Rebels 15-8. And the Reapers in a close one was able to beat out the Eagles 19-8. That's a quick check on sports. I'm Jay Philippe. Be blessed.